In James Joyce's Ulysses, Stephen Dedalus says, History is a nightmare from which I am trying to awake. The Indonesian artist Darang Cristanto, who now lives in Australia, wants us to stare at the nightmare of history without averting our eyes. He himself was directly affected as a child by one of the worst moments of Indonesian history. When Dadang was seven years old, his father was abducted by the thugs of Indonesia's military dictator for supposedly having communist sympathies. He was never seen again. Heads from the North continues Dadang's preoccupation with politics and personal history. Identical bronze heads are installed in a pond. Are they victims of a natural disaster, or are they being forced to undergo some terrible torture? We feel that something is going wrong. In an accompanying performance, Dadang burns objects in a metal bowl, then scoops the ashes up in his hands and smears them over his face in a temple-like ritual. Dadang often obscures faces and whole bodies in his performances, effacing the personality and dehumanizing his subjects in the way that dictators do to their subjects. The combination of performance and installation shows two faces of history. One exists in the moment and then is over. The other is made from a material, bronze, that can last for thousands of years. Taken together, Dadang's work produces powerful sympathy for the fate of oppressed individuals everywhere and at all times.